Jay, uh, you guys were looking to get back in the win column. You guys accomplished just that. How did you break down tonight's win? Well, I thought it was a strong hockey game. Um, we scored goals in different fashions. Uh, obviously, the power play came up big at the end of the first period after we had a great five-on-three penalty kill. Um, found a way to score a real um, May June type goal at the end of the second period there that I think is bodes well for us as we move forward and then I thought we played a really mature third period I thought uh, uh, we did some things uh, very well tonight there are some areas that we got to continue to clean up but there's a lot of lot to like and a lot to build on uh dry side will mention he lost a little bit of money uh in terms of a big game for him and putting money up on the board uh what how special is it for a guy to come into an arena where he was drafted especially a franchise cornerstone like dry side for him to deliver probably arguably your best skater tonight yeah i mean uh leon came up with some big plays for us tonight and that was a big factor in our win so i'm happy for him that uh we got the win in this building i know you talked extensively about uh, Koskinen on Saturday, but kind of another big story again yeah. tonight. Yeah, I thought uh, in, you know, they had they had some shots from outside and outside the blue line and all all that kind of stuff. But when called upon, uh, Miko came up big. Um, I think he's inspiring a lot of confidence in the group and um, made the right save at the right time. Happy for him. Jay, how have you noticed the changes in your team since you took over as the head coach? Well, I think it's only fair for me to talk about since I have uh, uh, been the head coach here over the last three weeks or so. And um, we've asked our players to really uh, up their level of work, uh, to, to really increase our work rate, specifically working back to our own end. And um, I've just been so impressed with uh, the level of dedication, the level of work um, that our players are demonstrating on a night, night in, night out basis. We're over that, you know, we have a good record over that time. But even in some of the, the games that we didn't win, we did a lot of really good things. I think we're working our way towards um, creating a playing identity that uh, will s- will last over uh, the tough times. And... Um, you know, that's a full credit to the buy-in and work ethic of our players because it's been elite. You talked this morning about Koskinen and confidence. Do yep. you notice the guys having that confidence in him now that when he's back there, you know, you're gonna, you guys are going to get the better play. You guys are going to get this kind of play that he's capable of doing this on a night-by-night basis? Well, I would say that I think our players and the coaching staff and the people in our room all have confidence in all of our goaltenders. Number one, uh, and then the second thing I would say is that Miko's been playing uh, very well for a long period of time here. It, it's not just over the last few weeks. Uh, before um, before the break, he had put up some good numbers, and it, through no fault of his own, he ended up on COVID protocols. Uh, but he worked his way back into um, game shape, and. Uh, you know, in the three games that I've seen him play here, he's he's been excellent. And I do think he is, inspires confidence in the team. Um, and uh, he's been a big factor in those three wins that he's that I've seen him uh, personally. It seems tonight that they didn't have a lot of good chances on your, on your, on your team. Yeah, but, you know, I thought they ended up with a lot of shots on net. Um, but in terms of quality of chance, um, we did a lot of good things. I thought the biggest chances that they had either came off face-off wins or uh, off our stick, either us trying to pass through people or maybe a turnover in the offensive zone. Um, Those are the things that I think we can continue to improve at. Uh, But when you uh, win a game 3-0 on the road in a tough building, I think uh, it's a total team effort. So our players should be proud that everybody contributed to a full 60 minutes. Is it nice to see him, A, back in the lineup, and B, being able to have make that kind of play in that situation? Yeah, he's an he's a important piece of our team. Uh, not having him in Carolina, um, that hurt us. Uh, but we had some good people come in and, and rise to the occasion when he wasn't in the lineup. But um, Yamo gives us uh, energy on the forward check. Uh, he's a 
dogged uh, back checker, We're just relentless on the back check. Um, I think he's underratedly underrated physical. Uh, I said we saw a big hit tonight that he finished a check on, and uh, I just think he has a high high hockey IQ and is uh, willing to pay a price to score. You don't go to where he went to to get that goal unless you're brave, unless you're um, willing to pay that price, and he sure was tonight. Jay, going back to Dreisaitl, it's very easy to look at him and McDavid and look at the points, but are the points just a testament of all the little things that they're committed to and doing right to win a hockey game? I th- I, I think that's where everybody goes is to the points and their special, special, special players just in terms of what they can do on a night in, night out basis. Uh, what the coaching staff and their teammates get to see is how they conduct themselves behind the scenes, uh, not in the public view. And what I see is is two professionals that are dedicated to their sport. They're driven to win. And um, they're leading the way here in terms of the details required for us to win hockey games. So I'm thankful they're on our team.